Hi, my name is Anthony Eftikari, and I've been working in the visual effects and game industry for over 10 years. Over that time, I've been working on high-end feature films, TV, and commercials, and now cinematics for games. I currently work at Blizzard Entertainment as a senior artist and map painter on games like World of Warcraft, Overwatch, Diablo, and Starcraft to teach the students to become a better artist by learning how to think and see so you can apply it to any kind of work you want to do. I will teach you professional tips and tricks I use to make beautiful images and how you can apply the same techniques to your work. You will get in-depth lectures on my approach, techniques and workflow that you can apply to map painting, concept art and 3D work for feature film and games. Take your work to a professional and production ready level and become a better artist. Watch them exclusively right here, prepared for you to enjoy. And in this package we're going to be covering two different types, covering two different paintings using a 3D base. In the second part of the video, we're going to jump into more of the compositing stage, creating a full 3D environment with a moving camera fly through. This is going to be an intro to 3D map painting, modeling some assets, and then putting them together to create a scene, setting up our camera and lights, and rendering to paint in Photoshop. To paint on compositing passes in Photoshop, using them to create our atmosphere, our lighting, our mood, and incorporate photo elements to bring elements that we couldn't model a render to a finish and a more realistic finish with 3D lighting. Mood is what makes our scenes look realistic for concept art, and that's going to be covering two different scenes and bring it inside of Nuke with our renders to composite the final image. And you'll get to see how we break down the scene from a very basic breakdown with simple shapes to get our camera, our motion, our composition in 3D. We're gonna cover things like 3D terrain generation in World Machine and how we can create our terrain that we can then bring into our simple breakdown and replace our simple shapes with more realistic looking terrains. We then cover things like forest generation, trees, and how we can include trees, instancing them using forest pack, adding grass, rocks, bushes, to get more of a photoreal finish inside of our 3D environments. Then we take our renders and we bring it inside of Nuke for the final composite. We use things like deep compositing and how we can use deep data to composite 2D elements inside of a 3D space and add atmosphere, fog cards, and all kinds of things inside of Nuke to have total control over how our shots look, where we can add fog, where we can remove fog, and be able to color correct it, move it around, and scale it, add more, multiple, for depth, add things like god rays and glows, composite our final render passes as well, and get our final look for the 3D shot. But you're gonna get a great look into how it's done. This tutorial is also exclusively created for this website. You can't find it anywhere else. Thank you for your time and your support and I hope you enjoy this tutorial.